Whoa, having fun with scale. That's size. Like, look at these people. They're all regularly sized people. And there's a diver. We know that he's a human being, but look at what happens when he's next to a whale. Man, that is huge. Here's somebody who did a little action figure next to their kitten. And as their kitten got bigger, the action figure started to look smaller. So scale can be pretty fun. Here's an artist who likes to have fun with toys and make them huge. So here's a rubber duck. We all know that. But look at the size of the rubber duck that he made. And this rubber duck toured all around the world. And why does he do uh, it? This factor that it surprises uh, people. You normally, you do your thing during the day. You go to work, you, you have an appointment, you go to your uh, family or friends. And in between, I try to grasp you uh, to get you out of your normal daily life. And, uh, well, to, to let you stop and look. So here's how you could play around with scale with the drawing. So I'm going to draw a guy. I'm still figuring him out, but he's just the basic one that we've often practiced in class. He's got arms and legs. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I just did to his arm there. That's huge. Uh, I'll put in a face and surprise face because I'm anticipating something big over here. Hmm. I got gingerbread boys on the brain so I'm going to draw a giant gingerbread boy and maybe that's a button that that kid has in his hand. So how do I convince everyone that the gingerbread boy is big and the real life human is small? Drop in some other things that are matching the human. So there's the human's house and um, let's see I'll do some mountains in the background to add some more space and I think I'll put a little dog in the foreground barking angrily at the giant gingerbread boy. And all of those things tell my brain, hey, that's a big boy. Another thing you can do is cut out things from magazines. Like here are these two lobsters, so I cut them out. I'm going to put them on a piece of paper and oh my goodness, I just saw this cruise ship. Now one thing I could do with scale is have a giant cruise ship in the claw of these giant lobsters. So you can do things that are silly. That's the fun of playing with scale. If I want to draw something, I might leave my giant lobsters right on the edge of the water here. And maybe I'm going to draw a surprised swimmer who's never seen giant lobsters this big. Are they friendly or not? He looks like he's not sure. What will you try?